the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to the channel. As we prepare you for the latest patch here, go over the notes, talk about some of the things in detail, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and getting your opinion about what you think about it. Because, well, all of your opinions matter. It's on it to who matters to me, but let's go ahead and talk about this arc. So this one's going to introduce a lot of new things into the game, as well as hopefully speed up some of the loops for some players, which I think is good. There's good, there's bad. Let's start with, well, all the notes, and I will just give my open and unbiased opinion, because that's my job. All right, we got new building, new hostiles, and I... <sighs> we'll give an opinion of that in a second. New officers, missions, refits, etc. Let's start with the war room, which we previewed a little bit yesterday. You'll see this more this week, but this is going to be a new building that allows your alliance, when they do PvP, to earn rewards during events that works like a treasury, and that way everybody gets credit for it. So if you're not a PvP player, you're going to get rewards. So that's the baseline of what we have with that. We did cover it yesterday, so we don't need to spend too much detail. But there are the basics. Now, Gorn Hostile. So yes, there's a new loop. So automatically, I'm not happy. Now, I'm just going to be honest. These Hostiles aren't too bad to do if you've been keeping up with Isolytic that's come out in the past year. So you've been working on the new officers, you've been working on your artifacts, and keep in mind that this is only for level 40 plus players. So this isn't something that applies to everybody. But if you haven't kept up with all those things, you're probably not going to enjoy this as much. I will go ahead and show you an example of me taking out one of these early hostiles. Here you go. This is me using an isolated crew with Janeway, Enterprise E Data. I could, if you don't have Enterprise E Picard, because Enterprise E Data is easy to get, with the holodeck, but Janeway also okay-ish, I guess, to get. Not very easy. If you don't have Picard, because he is difficult to get, you can switch that for Pike. Because again, you're, you're mostly just focusing on the isolytic damage. You want to take advantage of all those different things. Bam, isolytic cascade right there at the bottom. And then her ability down below. Because these new hostiles only take damage from isolytic. So if you look at this battle log, my pylon does a 2 million standard damage, and that is all mitigated. So... Standard damage does not work against these new hostiles, only isolytic damage. You can see that there at the bottom. Now, this loop is only for 40 plus, and then there is no token for any of these systems. You can go grind out the loot that you need without uh, worrying about anything. But there is a massive jump because I tried to take on the 51s and I got absolutely waylaid. But inside of this new loop, you're going to find these boxes. So you've got sourcing for officers for voyager and enterprise e which i think is noise you can come in here and see that you have uh, each pool contains one guaranteed shard uno so not exactly a fantastic pull rate but you know it's a pull rate and again you don't have any limits this also lets you pull uh new artifacts pretty dope so help speed up some of the other things that you maybe were already doing or maybe not doing as well as giving you more uncommons action credits, etc. So value to it, but it is another loop. And again, you have to balance what loops you find most valuable for you. This is a 40 plus loop. This is not something that applies to the average folks because remember, most of your players are still in the 30s. But let's read about it. You saw this in Strange New Worlds in Season 2. And to remind you, you are only going to use isolated damage versus these. So it's kind of funny that these source the officers that you need irony but again i'm not happy about a new loop even though the loop has value it's like the seventh loop in five months and i'm just being honest it doesn't matter what the value is i'm sick of new loops i just want to break from a new loop but let's talk about a good thing something that i actually am happy about which is this and this is the attempt by scopely to help alleviate pain points of old loops so how are they doing that by updating the chests? because these chests when they came out really weren't super valuable so now they're getting massive multiplier improvements to make them worth pulling. So for example, I will no longer ever, let's be honest, I'm no longer pull, uh, going probe grinding with my Talios. Why am I no longer going probe grinding with my Talios? Because this right here, how much inert nanoprobes I get. So I'll actually show you back in the game that is increased now to when I do a single pull. Single pull, just without a max one in 3.8. I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a seven chest right here. Yeah, I'm not doing that for a while. 
thanks to that. So there are some good things to help speed up the loop. This is a nice quality of life adjustment. So if you are an upper level player and you didn't do some of the older loops or you haven't tiered up your things as much as you want, this is going to help push you to do that by increasing the amount of rewards that you get so you don't have to deal with those as much. Even the Monavine getting update, your Fisha getting update, Stella getting update for the reputation to push you deeper into the reputation, the Mantis, the only ones not getting update, the Voyager didn't get an update, nor did the Meridian, but all the other boxes in the x faction getting an update. We have three new officers this month, starting with Epic Mbanga. His cap his abilities increases the percentage of officer health as mitigation versus hostiles, and then you have increasing shield health uh, each round, and then you have a special code for Mbanga Shards for Ops 20 plus players. So shout out to all players able to get some more stuff, and that'll come on the 19th, the so 10 days from now. You also have Epic Strange New World Kirk, which is going to decrease a percentage of the shield health of hostiles by round. This works exactly how Yuki works, if you remember the Yuki officer in game. And then down below, increases critical damage by X% percent versus non armada hostiles. Then you have Rare Nurse Chapel. Funny enough, the rare officer is the one I want the most because she increases isolated damage versus hostiles as a below deck ability. So it's Enterprise E Data's officer ability below decks. To me, this is the most valuable officer of the group. Really, 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 really want this. So anyway, she also has a officer ability, which is gaining the loot from Gorn Hostiles, which again, that's fine, but I want the Isolitic because it's built around Isolitic. That whole new Hostile set is built around Isolitic, so this is huge. Definitely want that at the bottom. They are also going to be updating the officers inside the Ultra Recruit this month and the Galactic Recruit as well. So you look below, you have Hugh, Galinar, Boar Queen, Dezak, Goza are replaced by the lower deck two officers. So those are getting added into the Galactic Recruit when they use that. We have mission sets, uh, quite a few for level 34 plus though. So if you're in the 20s, no new mission sets. A couple new refits, the Borg Transwarp Drive. I don't know why it's called that because that's a tactical cube right there. Whatever. <laughs> that is a whole health boost for the cube as well as allowing it to instantly travel across the galaxy. So basically it has self-summoning now. If you get this refit, you'll be able to instantly go wherever you want to. And then the Voyager is getting one where it is going to let you know the shield expiration timer on bases. So it's adding that to the ability of the Voyager. Remember, the Voyager can let you know where a person's base is if you scan their ship. Now it's also going to tell you when their shield's dropping. Oh, and it increases the cargo size of the Voyager by 300%. There are new forbidden technologies. Uh, Tarka's isolated weapon. As you can tell, this is based around the new Gorn. So that's something that you can buy. I won't have it. A uh, new artifact is the Kishara. You offer the increased number of sequential commands a commander is able to issue to a ship. Allow, acquiring allows the commander to select one hostile to attack, followed by another, and then having uh, the responding captain execute the attacks one after the other. So that's pretty neat, and I actually like that they're doing it because that's, in theory, less clicks or less time. We'll see how it actually plays out. And then, of course, there are new primes with hull breach resistance. <laughs> Don't really feel like that's super good especially because we have a floor for all that now. A uh, prime mining rate, meh. Prime boar cube isolytic, meh. Prime PVP damage resistance, meh. Battle pass and quite a few various bug fixes, which I think these are good to have. I like that we have a very long list of bug fixes now. I wouldn't say any of them are necessarily the most amazing, but you are some important ones like your Mantis wasn't working on the board cube. I know that was getting reported to me quite a bit. Uh, specifically T14s, that being fixed. Uh, Exocomps having an issue, so those are good, right? This one has been in the game for years. We talk about things that, hey, this bug's been in the game for years. They don't fix it. This is a big one. If two ships trigger the captain ability option at the same time, only one of them was visible. This has literally been a bug for five years. So good to see an old bug getting fixed. But yeah. So there are positive this month, there are negatives this month. The negative, there's a new loop. And even though I think the new loop has value, I don't like new loops. I'm sick of new loops. Will I be doing the new loop? Yes, but only because I'm going to sacrifice something else. It means I'm not going to do something else in the game. I refuse to do everything in this game. And I tell every player that watches my content this. Do what you want to do. Don't let Scopely determine your gameplay. So if you don't want to do all the loops, don't do all the loops. Because I don't do all the loops. You shouldn't either. Pick which has value you. Bajor has value. 
to me. Silence because I can do them as value. If you can only kill one silent hostile for your level, don't do silence, right? Pick what you want to do. And uh, I'm not going to let Scopa say I got to do all them loops anymore. And I'm curious if everybody else agrees down below. I do love the quality of life updates that are here. Sadly, only for 40 plus. I do think we need some more quality of life that could come for our G3 players. Even though they had a lot last year, there's always more you can do because the game clearly wants you to level up. Well, make it easier. So kind of a mixed bag. We'll be curious to see what people see about this at the end of the month. I do like the quality of life updates and I do like the war building, but don't like new loot. So we'll see that. Let me know what you think. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. And uh, yeah. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.